Why hello friends, welcome back to another video. It's your girl Meg and in today's video we are doing a big doozy first impressions of makeup that is all one dollar. Yes, I went to the dollar beauty store and I live to tell the tale. <laughs> that store is none other than Shop Miss A. Um, I'm really excited. I grabbed everything from this store including the brushes, the lashes, the lash glue and the sponge for $29.84 before tax. So everything I use is under $30. So if you have been curious about Shop Miss A and you wanna see if there's any recommendations that I have, anything you guys are curious about, what worked for me, what didn't, stay tuned. But before you do, make sure you hit that thumbs up button, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future uploads and make sure to follow along on social media where I share a lot of attainable and affordable beauty, especially for those of us that are, you know, not 21 anymore, but we still like makeup. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started with this massive haul. It's a doozy. Grab a snack. We've got a lot to talk about. This is going to be a long one. Okay. All right, let's go. <laughs> Okay, so if for those of you that are not familiar with the store Shop Miss A, yes, it is a dollar beauty store. There are products in that store ranging from a dollar to a dollar eighty-eight. There's some products that are a dollar fifty-five and a dollar eighty-eight, and those products um, have a charitable aspect to them. So they donate to animal charities and education charities as well. This is a Dallas, Texas-based brand. You know, you might have those questions like, how do they get away with this? Is this like sketchy like how how is this makeup so cheap is it good like all these things went through my head so i will link their website below where you can check them out and see if this is a brand that you want to support based on what they've presented but all of their products are claimed to be cruelty free they claim to be making these products responsibly that's up for you to decide if that's something you want to support and they also do while they do have stores within malls in different places they also have an online store front where you can shop all of this stuff. They offer shipping. So a lot of people actually buy a lot of stuff off their website and have good luck with that as well. So I will link all the products that I'm talking about below and I'm going to just go ahead and cut over to us trying everything that I bought and whether or not it's going to work out. You know what? You're just going to have to find out. So keep watching. All right, friends. So like I mentioned in the intro, I'm going into this first impressions completely unaware of what this makeup is like, how it's gonna do. I haven't opened any of the products. The shrink wrap is still on them. The only thing I did do was I washed the brushes because I was when I was walking around in that store, there were a lot of people like touching the brushes. So I was like, I gotta wash these. And then um, I also ran this sponge under water and it's really soft. I mean, I literally just did it. So it's all, this is all going to be first impressions. The only thing that I could not find when I was in there was a powder puff, which I think is going to, is something that I like to use when I'm using powders. I also am using my own eyelash curler today. I have no idea what to expect, but we're going to try and see if we find some good stuff. I also forgot to mention, I did go through my brows with my clear brow gel, my got to be brow gel. I did my skincare and sunscreen, but we're gonna go in first with this primer that I picked up. It's called the Clean Slate Primer that is supposed to be lightweight and melts right into your skin, leaving it silky smooth while extending makeup wear. I actually like how things are kind of smaller in packaging because I feel like that's really less wasteful. There were some different prices. Mostly everything's a dollar, but some of the things were $1.55. This face primer was $1. So this is what it looks like. It's kind of got a slight yellow tint to it. Feels like a moisturizer, like a lightweight moisturizer. Kind of reminds me of the Too Faced Hangover RX different scent, but like kind of that same idea of it like feeling hydrating to the skin. Feels like another moisturizer almost. Not mad at it. Okay, the foundation that I picked up was one that I saw had a lot of good reviews. This is the AOA Studio Buildable Satin Foundation. Again, another small package, which I like. I'm gonna just put a little on kind of my jawline to see if this is gonna match me. 
before I start going ham. That's gonna be a decent match, I think. It's a little peachy, but I'm not mad at it. And this is the blender I'm gonna use. I've been into brushes for my makeup lately, but I didn't find any flat top, like, foundation brushes they were all sold out there was a lot of stuff i couldn't find because they were sold out so i'm doing the best i could with what i could find so i'm going to use this pawpaw blender and this was a dollar 55 because um, it's a charity edition product 55 cents goes to a animal charity it says part of proceeds will go towards protecting against animal abuse so i'm not crazy about foundations that are in droppers but I think I guessed okay as far as my foundation shade. So like I said, it's a little peachy, kind of cool tone, but some of the others looked kind of yellow. So I might have to mix, but I noticed immediately that this blended out so nice. Does it have a scent? I can't really smell, it's like a slight scent to it. It's not heavily fragranced or anything. Has a nice, it looks pretty. I'm really, I'm really surprised. I'm very surprised by this. It's not a great match to my neck, but my self tanner is fading off really weird right now. So my face looks a little lighter than my neck, but hopefully we can warm that up a little bit with some bronzer. I'm honestly shocked by this foundation. I might need a shade up with my self tan, but my self tan is literally looking so weird down the side of my neck. I am shocked at how pretty this is. It is like a medium coverage. I don't want to build it up anymore because I want to I don't like something that's too, too full coverage right now, but it says buildable satin foundation, definitely buildable, really pretty. I definitely see the satin finish. It's not greasy feeling on the skin. It definitely is drying down, which is great. And I see this working for a lot of different skin types. Here's the concealer I picked up. This is the AOA Studio Natural Finish Non-Drying Creamy Concealer. It is medium to whole coverage. It's another $1.55 product where 55 cents goes to charity. Natural finish, medium to full coverage. I got this in the shade Light Ivory. These looked like really yellow, um, and I'm gonna be using this without a color corrector today because I really just wanna see how this concealer performs. This is a generous amount of concealer, honestly, for $1.55. It's like, look at this compared to the foundation. I think I'm going to dispense some on the back of my hand just to kind of take a look at it. This looks like it's gonna be a decent match. This is light ivory. And I actually like squeezy tube concealers or like the NYX Bear With Me concealer that comes like in a little pump. I actually really like that. Whoa, that is, that is full coverage. They were not lying. Whoa. I like to kind of blend in my concealer a lot with my finger before I start going in with a blending tool. I am super impressed. I didn't know what to expect. I got this because I wanted to try it with the concealer. This is the AOA Studio High Def Brush E104 brush. I want to kind of blend out the edges with this brush. I've been into brushes lately for my concealer. I'll also use the blender. Let's see how this does. This is very full coverage. I'm really impressed by this concealer as well. Like, I, again, I don't know what I was expecting. And that drawer was open this whole time. That's gonna bug me when I watch this back, but the drawer is closed now. The next product that I have to share with you today and try is the AOA Studio Perfect Setting Powder. No description of this, but I got this in the shade Soft Light. I noticed in the store there was a lot of items that they didn't have a lot of the shades or a lot was sold out or there was only like one shade available, but it's in this little um, sifter container. Oh my God. That just completely came off. Oops. Oh my gosh. That was a mess. That is what happened to my shorts. That is a disaster. Hold on. Ooh, okay, so note that if you buy this setting powder, to open it, 
over a trash can. For that alone, I'm, I'm very hesitant to recommend this. So this was a $1 product. It does have talc in it. So I put a little in this cap. I'm gonna stick my powder puff into the cap. And then I'm going to press it on onto the under eye. Seems very soft. When I touch the powder, it feels really, really smooth. It's pretty translucent. It has a slight, it's not chalky matte, which is great. So like when I press this between my fingers and kind of rub my fingers together and then look at my hand, I don't see any chalkiness. I see kind of a satin finish, all not luminous, but it's like a healthy look. This packaging is just not my friend. I'm gonna set the rest of my face just like really lightly with the powder and I'm using this brush that's the AOA Studio F13 brush. I didn't see any like bigger fluffier powder brushes so I'm gonna be using this for kind of just to spot powder kind of in the center of my face, maybe along the jaw. Now I am gonna use the same brush and I'm going to dip into this bronzer I just took the shrink wrap off of. And this is the AOA Studio Perfect Bronzer Powder. This was a dollar product. This is in the shade Cold Brew. This is the only shade that they had in stock at the store at the moment that I went in. And it looks really dark. <laughs> like, I'm gonna have to be real careful and it's real cool toned. So I'm gonna try to not overdo this. This, this is um, slightly scary. Pray for me. I'm gonna be very light handed with it. It looked like this did come in probably like five or so shades. Uh, I just have a dark, no, this, this shade doesn't, oh. I look like I'm putting dirt on my face. This is not good. This, this uh, bronzer is definitely not my shade. I don't know what I was thinking. I'm like, there's no other options. I have to try to see if this shade's gonna work for me. And I don't know why I keep trying. I'm gonna have to pull in one of my bronzers and I'll be right back. I, I have to salvage this. I can't walk out the door looking like this. <laughs> okay, I, th I was able to somewhat salvage my face. I do kind of wish that that was blended out a little better. I tried to put a little powder and blend it out it's as best as I could do. And then I went in with my butter bronzer and I actually use this brush, which I think is really nice. I really like it. I'm very curious to go and try that in a shade that works for me if I can find it. I'm gonna go in with blush next, and this is their Lumi Radiant Blush, and this is in the shade Rose Dawn. I tried to pick some like more rosy tones. This is giving hourglass ambient lighting blush vibes, the way that it's like kind of baked and marbled looking. It immediately made me think of that as far as how this looks. I don't know if that's how it's going to perform, but I also got this brush as the AOA Studio F14. This is their angled, I think it's a contour brush, but I like to use these kind of brushes for blush. It's a really pretty rosy tone. I almost think that this tone would look really, really pretty in fall. It's kind of darker than maybe what I was expecting. I guess I expected it to look a little bit more pinky, but it is definitely more rosy. It does have a quite a bit of luminous finish to it. I don't know if you can see right there, but it's also picking up my texture a lot. Like, I don't have a ton of texture there, but my cheek looks extremely textured. So I'm not sure that I love this blush. In my hourglass blush, I know that I can use it and it's a radiant finish and it never makes my texture, it never emphasizes any texture. This is kind of a maybe for me. Maybe if I tried another shade, I might like it more, but right now I just see a ton of texture and I don't like that. I also have a liquid blush. Maybe this we can salvage that. Sometimes I never do this, but sometimes people say to put liquid blush over top of a powder blush and see if you can do that. I usually kind of do it the opposite. I do a liquid blush and then I put a powder over it, but we're gonna try this method. I could very well hate this. This is the AOA Studio liquid blush in the shade. I think this was a dollar. This is an, oh my gosh, in the shade Walnut. Oh no, 
<laughs> what did I just do? Okay, okay, we're blending out. We're blending out. This isn't terrible. This seems like a very fall, fall friendly tone, the shade Walnut. Let me swatch it for you right there. But this was really the only shade that they had in the store. This is really pretty, but I don't think I would wear it in summer. This is definitely something I would wear a lot later. I really like this blush. I actually took the textured look of my cheek down a little bit, which I also appreciate. And then I have a liquid and a powder highlighter, which I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do both because I feel like my cheek is really shiny. But this accidentally broke. It's not broken, but it accidentally opened. This is the AOA Long Lasting Glow Silky and Buildable Glow Baby Liquid Highlighter. This was one of those other $1.55 products. I'm gonna put a little bit on the back of my hand. This is really pretty. Ooh, this is gonna be nice to mix in with like a foundation or something. Should have done that. Let's just put a little bit on the cheeky. You really don't need a lot. Like you don't need a lot at all. That's really pretty. My makeup isn't like the most blended, beautiful look that I've ever done, but I can tell just kind of playing with these products, like how I would use them further out. Like if I were to pick them up again, do we, are we going to glow even more? Cause I have another <laughs> highlighter. I think this is one of their newer products. This is the glow within illuminating powder. This is in the shade brunch date, which I, they seem to have all the shades in stock with this one because I think it's a newer product. I'm just gonna swatch this first before I decide what to do with it. This is what it looks like. Let's swatch this on the arm. What does it do? Oh, it's almost, almost like a really natural highlight. <gasps> Ooh, that is pretty. Let's put that on kind of the center of my face. Whoa, that's way gl more glowy than I thought. I thought this was gonna be like more, less glow, less uh, metallic-y. And I'm using it with this brush, which is the AOA Studio F19. This is a really awesome highlighter brush, really liking it. I am so freaking glowy right now. Just taking my powder puff with whatever powder is left over on it and seeing if I can tone this down a bit. This is really pretty. I just don't know that I would mix them together. At this point, I think I wanna do my brows and then I'm gonna move on to eyeshadow and then lips. This is their Slim Brow Pencil in the shade Medium Brown. It's AOA Studio. This is a what appears to be a skinny brow pencil with a spoolie on the other end. That's nice. I have some brow gel in, like I mentioned. I didn't even see a clear brow gel there, but that's what we're gonna go for. I'm just gonna do, I don't wanna do a too heavy of a brow. This was a really good color match. The shade medium brown matched my brow hairs really well. It seems to be a really nice formula. It went on really easily. No complaints about this one so far. I'm gonna do my other brow off camera. Okay, brows look great. Very happy with this product, would totally recommend it. I can't believe this is a dollar. We're gonna move on to the eye look. And I don't want this to drag on for forever just doing an eye look, but what I ended up doing was they had a bunch of different larger eye palettes um, that were like five and ten dollars and then there was some various things there but i thought for the sake of like trying to stay very budget like to the one dollar products i got these aoa studio eyeshadow trios i got a shimmer one and a matte one so i'm gonna throw some of the matte shades into the crease and then maybe use one or two of these on the lid and just do a really simple eye look with that I have two eyeshadow brushes. I could have bought more, but I try, I wanna try to keep this as simple as I can. So I bought the AOA Studio E126 fluffy blending brush. And then I bought a E112, which looks to be a pencil brush. So <laughs> I'm gonna open these up and let's create an eye look. What I'll do first is I'll just swatch these on my arms and see how they perform as far as swatches. So this is the matte one. They seem pretty creamy and they swatched really nicely. Look at these shimmers. 
those also swatched really nicely. So this is the, okay, so this is Patience, is the shimmer one, and the matte one is Mother Earth. What do we think of these swatches? I'm just gonna create an eye look really quickly that's sped up, and then I'll give you my thoughts on what I was able to do. I think I was able to create a really nice everyday eye look using these palettes or these trios, if you will. They are a dollar a piece. So for $2 for six shades, I think is incredible. I think they blended out really nicely. The shimmer on my lid looks really nice. I just used one of the shimmer shades on the lid, but I ended up using all three of the matte shades. Really nice neutral eye look. Now what I'm going to do next is use a mascara and I actually, did I get two? I got two because they had a fat lash mascara that is for the top lash and they had a skinny mascara for the bottom lash. So I'm going to give that a go. Let's do one eye so we can see a difference. This has a plasticky wand. Um, it's pretty straightforward, nothing fancy. But let's just see how this performs. Just on first glance, it's okay. I don't see anything uh, immediately where I'm like, oh my gosh, this is the best mascara I've ever tried. I don't know what I was expecting for a dollar. <laughs> It does seem to be kind of clumpy. It's not quite a dry formula, but it's not quite wet. I wonder if we get some more air in this product, if I'm gonna like it more. I tend to lean where I like drier mascara formulas, but I'm gonna just go ahead and use the lower lash mascara. This is very cool, this tiny little mascara wand. I already am digging this idea. I know that these exist but this is such a cool way to grab onto those lower lashes without messing anything up. I have a feeling this is really nice. It's really grabbing onto them, really coating them. This lower lash mascara is really, really nice. I'm really liking it. I just hope um, it wears really well. I'm gonna do the other eye of mascara, kind of build up the coats and we'll have more thoughts in a second. Okay. Mascara is on and I'm honestly not mad at this mascara. The Fat Lash, the Skinny Mascara is definitely a standout product, really like that. Other mascara, I did end up like just like finagling it a little bit and just like really being patient and layered it. And I think it looks really good. I'm definitely gonna have to continue to play with this. It's hard to give like a full opinion of a product when you've only used it once, especially mascara. Mascara always does better when it's open for a little bit. So I also have this, and I don't wanna apply it on camera because I feel like that's just too laborious, but they have lash glue. This was $1.88. These are dollar lashes. These are in the style Scarlet, and they honestly look like Dummy Wispies, Ardell Dummy Wispies, but a dollar. If this is a like success, I'm going back and buying 12 of them. So. I'll be back in a second. Okay, the lashes are really pretty. I ended up cutting not as much off as I wanted because I wanted to see how they would look as almost a full lash. They're about a 70% lash. Really pretty, love them. Definitely want to go buy more. I could not find an eyeliner, like a gel eyeliner or like an eyeliner pencil anywhere in that store. All I could find was liquid eyeliner, which I didn't want to do because I don't like really wearing liquid eyeliner. So I used a little bit of my own and tight lined on the upper water line. That's it because I just feel like it blends the lashes into the lash line a whole lot better. Last but not least, we're, we're at the end of this journey together. I know it's been a journey. We're doing a lip liner and a lip gloss. This is the AOA Studio Lip Liner in the shade Satin. It looks like a retractable lip liner. And I got it in kind of a neutral sort of contouring shade. And then I got the, this is called the Full Lips Plumping Lip Gloss in the shade Light Rose. I thought it would match the cheek pretty well. So let's just put this on. At first glance, the lip liner is not super duper pigmented. I guess I thought I was getting a much darker shade than I did. So I definitely need to go back and get something a little darker. I don't typically go this light with my lip liner. 
and it did seem to kind of be like, all right, is this going to apply? But I wonder if that's because of the shade or the formula. So I'm not blown away by this lip liner at first glance, but it could just be like, I don't really care for the shade, but let's try the lip gloss. Oh, that is more pigmented. <laughs> I didn't know what I, what I was getting with this gloss. Okay. That gloss is so nice. Definitely not rose. It turned out to be a little bit more coral. Maybe it is coral in the tube. It looks more pink in the tube, I think. On the, on the lips, it definitely looks more coral. Doesn't feel sticky. It's really juicy looking. This is really fun for summer. Definitely something I'm gonna wear again. I really, I think it's really pretty. I don't have a setting spray, so. All right, so the makeup look is done with my full face of Shop Miss A makeup. I did an entire face of makeup, including the brushes and lash glue and lashes and sponge for $29 for $29.84 before tax. I think my makeup looks great. I'm not crazy about the cheek area, but that is because of the blush and bronzer situation I think is just not the best. But other than that, I think there are some pretty great standout products. As a whole, do I think that this makeup line in this store stinks? Absolutely not. I think that you should go visit if you have one near you. If not, you should definitely place an order online. I had fun trying all this stuff. This was definitely a doozy of a video, so if you stuck around, thank you for being here. But like, when I'm trying a full face of first impressions of things, including the tools, it's gonna be a doozy. So thank you guys for sticking around and being here with me as I tried all of this new stuff from Shop Miss A, well new to me. And is there any of your favorite products from this brand? Please leave it in the comments so I can know when I go shopping again what to look for. I want to find your favorite things. Thanks again for tuning into today's video. I will see you all in my next one. Bye!